Hey folks, Tom Bell here with your Diz Daily Fix for Wednesday, January 17th, 2017. Here's what's happening today. A beginning February 12th, Jumbo House at Animal Kingdom Lodge will begin participating in a pilot program where all transactions will be handled with cash-free options, broadening their accepted forms of payment. All purchases and services at the resort will accept magic bands, credit cards, debit cards, Disney gift cards, Disney Rewards Redemption cards, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, and Google Pay. What's no longer on the list? Cash. Um, As always, we will keep an eye on this test, and we'll let you know if it expands to any other Walt Disney World resorts. In other news, Disney California is, uh, sorry, Disney California Adventure is getting ready to celebrate the Year of the Dog with its annual Lunar New Year Festival. Um, In addition to the costume characters, crafts, merchandise, and the awesome entertainment, the festival will feature specialty foods from Chinese, Korean, and Vietnamese cuisines. Uh, The Korean marketplace will once again be in front of the Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure. Returning this year are the vegetable fried rice with kimchi and the banana milk. A new dessert this year features sweet red bean and raspberry jelly. Uh, The China Marketplace is in front of the Golden Zephyr again and has brought back my favorite, the pork uh, pork soup dumplings. And also uh, returning is the egg tart dessert. Uh, New at the China uh, Marketplace this year is something called three cup chicken. Uh, According to my friend Siri, the name comes from the original recipe, which includes a cup of soy sauce, a cup of sesame oil, and a cup of rice wine. Uh, Next to the China Marketplace, the Vietnam Marketplace is bringing back one of my least favorite dishes from last year, the sugar cane shrimp skewer, Uh, plus one of the more interesting dishes, which is the uh, interesting looking dishes, which is the purple sweet potato macaron. Finally, as it does each year, Paradise Garden Grill will set aside its Mediterranean menu in favor of Asian specialties, including a family style meal featuring a whole crispy tilapia. Lunar New Year begins next Friday, January 26th, and continues through February 18th. Finally today, according to an update from director Adam Shankman, Enchanted 2, or Disenchanted, the long-planned sequel, uh, may begin filming in the near future. Uh, The following update was provided by Shankman at a Television Critics Association panel, quote, we are handing in a script that I in a couple weeks that I am super happy with. Then we got to get the music written. Uh, the fundamental story has changed a bit, but not from the base story of it. End quote. Reportedly set ten years after the original Enchanted, the sequel has Giselle questioning whether Robert is indeed the man of her dreams, and she's also wondering what happily ever after really means. According to Screen Rant, the new film promises to include a lot more songs than the original. At this time, it's not known if any of the original casters are returning, including its stars Amy Adams and Patrick Dempsey. Today's featured article on the Diz comes from Brandon Morocco, who continues his his look at Disneyland versus the Magic Kingdom with a closer look at Adventureland. You'll find that article and more, of course, at wdwinfo.com. Trending on the Diz boards today is a thread from poster FSU Girl discussing that cashless test coming to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Uh, Posters are discussing the logistics of the test, and uh, the original poster is sharing her email that she received from the resort. You can find the thread, Got an email from Disney? I'm not sure I understand in the Disney Resorts Forum at disboards.com. If you are heading into the parks tomorrow, it's gonna be in Orlando it's gonna be sunny but cool. A low of 50 I'm sorry, a high of 55, low of 37. Uh, partly cloudy skies in Anaheim, high of 76, and a low of 53. You can find links to all these stories and more on our daily fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash daily fix. That's gonna do it for me today, but be sure to join us again tomorrow for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day.